Adam Robert. I'm in America. I'm in Pro-Nazi. What did you say? <laughs> My name is Robert. I am from America. I am a throat singer. Oh. Um, and that was in the Tuvan language. Oh, wow. And what did you mm -hmm. Just hello in Tuvan. Uh -huh. My name is Michael. Uh -huh. I'm also known as iBeam and in some select small Tuvan circles. Uh -huh. mm. Okay. Have you ever tried an onigiri, right? Before? Mm. In, in New York? My first time eating this. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? The music is uh -huh. what it really did it for me. This this strange polyphonic, uh, um, unworldly sounds that that come out of their mouths and their throats when they sing. It's that. that. <laughs> And you've been to Tuva once yes, already? Yes, I have. I was there a few months ago. It was probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Yeah, this was the children's throat singing competition. Two days of competition. So throat singing is alive and well. My experience there is the best way to get from point A to point B is on horse. <laughs> because you never know when the roads are going to be flooded or a tree is going to be over, over a road. Um, a lot of the villages are incredibly remote. A close friend of mine, and every time we would pass a river, he would stop, mm -hmm. he would sing a song, and say, do you know this song, Michael? Yes, yes, I know that. That song is about this river. Uh -huh. And we would say a little Buddhist prayer. I, I learned about Tuva, not, not from school or anything, not from seeing it anywhere, but having to really search for it more. Because uh, you, know, you learn about the areas around it, but you never really learn about Tuva itself. Um, yeah, just a very small place, very small population of people, right? but a very strong culture. It's, this is a Tuvan flute called the Shor. Ah, oh, this is fruit? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. This flute has uh, no mouthpiece on it. You actually form the mouthpiece with your teeth. And uh, this is actually one that I made out of uh, PVC pipe. This instrument is called the igil. Mm -hmm. um, the igil is a Tuvan fiddle. Uh, it's only two strings. Strings are usually made out of uh, horse hair or fishing line. These ones are fishing line. Um, 120 individual strands in this string, 109 individual strands in this string. Wow. Yeah. And this uh, has goat skin on the sound box. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it's uh, always played two strings at the same time. Okay.